is it not is it not altruistic to be concerned that the rights of others are respected? No, of course not. I mean, if other people's rights are not respected, then your rights will not be respected. You have a massive interest, massive interest, to live in a rights-respecting world. Because that's the only way your rights will be respected. I mean, one of the reasons not to violate other people's rights is because by violating somebody else's rights, you're giving credence to the idea the rights are not important, including your own. And you're sanctioning the violation of your rights. So absolutely, it is selfish, selfish, self-interested to be concerned with the rights of others because your life depends on it. And you cannot hold that you have rights if you don't care that other people have rights. If each individual is not an end in himself, then you are not an end in yourself. If each individual's moral purpose is not, they're flourishing. And to flourish, they need to live in a community in which rights are respected, then why care about, why should anybody, including you, care about your own rights? Is it not altruistic to be concerned with the flourishing of others? No, again, the flourishing of others is of your interest. Because the more they flourish, the more they create value for you. The more people there are to trade with, the more values there are for you to access. The more friendship, the more love, the more trade there is in the world, the more people flourish. So absolutely, it is in your self-interest to care about flourishing. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there. Help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share. And uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for all for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>